Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today we're going to take a look at how to sort out the problems with HDCP in your Radeon driver set. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so in today's video, we're going to take a look at some of the issues you may be facing with your AMD Radeon graphics card when trying to either use an older HDMI device or trying to watch copyright protected content in the HD format. So this mostly relates to the HDCP setting in the Radeon drivers, which we'll take a look at in a little bit, but also it can be related to your actual hardware. So if you're using something like a, a Razer Ripsaw capture device, or maybe uh, an HD60 from Elgato, sometimes depending on what it is you're trying to actually capture or record, if you're maybe recording from an older Nintendo device, or maybe from your own desktop computer, because HDCP is enabled, you may find that you just get a blank screen because it will not allow the device to capture that type of content. So there's various ways around that, one of which is in the software, which we'll take a look at shortly. But another option is actually to just get an HDMI splitter box. Now, a lot of these have onboard chips. So when you plug in your HDMI device or you try and split the HDMI signal, the device actually thinks that it is HDCP enabled. So it works fantastically, even on older devices or for copying content, which has the HDCP enabled or some kind of copyright protection. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you some of these options and also show you how to disable it in the software. Okay, so first of all, this is the amazon.co.uk site and all I've done is typed in HDMI splitter. And as you can see, there's various options available. Now, one like this particular one from uh, Tech Hole, which is uh, probably not the nicest of names, but anyway, it does the job. So this is a HDMI splitter. So you have two, two outputs and one input. So you can display that onto uh, two monitors, simultaneous display. But essentially, this will do HDCP bypass. So this supports up to 4K at 30 hertz, 1080p 3D, etc., etc., for all those types of content. So if you do want to uh, record your content, or you want to maybe stream the content, or whatever it is you want to do, this might be an option to use this in conjunction with your AMD graphics card to allow you to display the content where possibly you shouldn't do. Obviously, this is not condoning any kind of copyright theft, but sometimes the technology does get in the way of what we're trying to do. But so that is a definitely a good option. Also, you can do things like this, HDMI three-way switch, you can also use that kind of thing. There's loads and loads of options available, uh, all of which will maybe be suitable for you, depending on how many outputs you want or whatever it is you're trying to do. But certainly the one from Tech Hole actually seems like a, a pretty good option. But if you don't want to spend money on the problem, you want to try fixing it in software, then let's show you how to do that. So what you'll need to do is to open up your AMD Radeon display driver. Now we're using uh, one of the newer Radeon display drivers. And as you can see, there is an icon in the taskbar, but also what you can do if you want to find the software, you can just type in AMD or just start typing it and it comes up in the best match selection on Windows 10. So if we go into AMD Radeon software, we'll just click on that. And as you can see, we're on the current version here. This is 20.3.1, which was released on the 17th of the 3rd, 2020, which seems like a lifetime ago right now. But what we want to do is go into gaming, first of all. And then what we need to do is to go into global display, which is this one over here on the far side. So global display is the one you want. And this gives you all your display settings. So there's various things you can do here. If you've got HDMI link assurance enabled, you can try disabling that. That will actually remove the uh, ability for the HDMI cable to talk to the monitor or whatever it's plugged into to kind of uh, establish the correct display sizes, frequencies, all that kind of stuff. So you can definitely turn that off if you want to, which you just click on the toggle button and you can toggle it on or off, disabled or enabled. You may need to restart the computer in between doing this to uh, solve the problem. Again, your mileage may vary. But what you can do also is go into overrides now, I've done this before, so normally when you click on Overrides, you'll get a message saying, are you sure you want to do this, etc., etc. So I'm just going to click on Overrides. And in this section, we get the HDCP support. Now, if you've clicked on Overrides and you've got the warning saying, uh, warning, you can do things in this section which may damage your uh, display or whatever, obviously take that into consideration. But essentially, all you need to do is to go into HDCP support. It currently is enabled, that is the default setting. So click on the radio button and you'll get this warning come up saying disabling DCHP support will also disable HDMI link assurance and protected content playback. Are you sure you want to continue? So obviously if you're having problems getting a display, then you've got no choice 
you can give this a go. So click on proceed and then that will actually enable. You do need to restart. So make sure that if you uh, don't get a display immediately, you click on the restart now button. So that is pretty much how to do it. Obviously, if it doesn't work for you, you can just go back in and enable it. You will, for certain types of content, like things like Netflix, you may need to have this enabled to enable to watch any copyrighted content. Obviously, it's down to the individual apps and the software to decide what is protected and what isn't. Generally, if you watch it via browser, you're generally okay, but if you're actually in the apps themselves, then you may have to change it. So there's a, a few options for you to try. Okay, so there's a few options. Either you go down the software route and you can have a play in the Radeon driver, see if it does the job for you. If not, you can invest a few pounds into one of those HDCP devices, which will disable the protection, which is a quite easy workaround and may save you hours and hours of headaches. Maybe it's always worth having one of those just hanging around, just in case you do want to plug into maybe an older TV. If, like a lot of people at the moment, you're stuck at home and you've got Lots of people all trying to get onto the internet on devices quickly. Maybe you've got an old kind of 24 inch TV somewhere with an HDMI input and you want to plug a PC into it or you want to watch content on it. But for some reason, you just get a blank screen. Trying these settings is definitely worth doing. You can also, if you connect the device to a newer monitor to actually enable these settings, then once you've enabled it, when it says restart now, you can just click on shut down and then connect up your non HDCP compliant monitor. And then you should actually get a display. This actually did work for me with a very old motherboard, which was based on the old AM1 platform, which is a donkey's years old. But actually disabling the HDCP did allow it to work on an older TV, whereas previously it wouldn't. So definitely worth trying. Uh, if you've got any comments or questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below. If maybe you want to see the same sort of thing for NVIDIA-based graphics cards again, let us know in the comments and we'll see if we can make some content on that for you. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.